So you may have heard about the iPhone 6 has shutdown problem and if you own one, this is how you can know if your iPhone is in problem or not. So you can see I'm using an iPhone 6s right here. So to kick things off, jump over to settings, go to general and go to about. Inside about, go to the serial number thing and select for serial number and then copy it. Once you have done copying, just go to Safari and launch this Apple website page. Now the link will be down below so just pick it from there. So once you go there, just select your country so you have the option to select your country and click here so I'm from India I'll just select India I'll just scroll down and click on India once it's done just click on done and from there go and enter your serial number now this side would be already really high traffic so I mean if you're on this side it may take some time to load stuff even on the fastest internet so once you're done click on paste and from there click on search and once you've done that it'll tell you if it's if it says your iPhone is eligible then you're in problem if it says your iPhone is not eligible then you're good to go but what if it says it is uh, so if it says it is you have a couple of options uh, which can continue from replacing your iPhone so just they'll just take your iPhone and get you a new one instead a new fully working new condition same model and you will have all the options so the so first thing would be replace second would be repair and third would be repairing the parts but not replacing the instead phone I mean it's different from repair it's it will be covered under warranty and they will charge it for you but Apple says it's free so you can just go to the website and see if your iPhone is eligible and the first thing I need once you see if your iPhone is eligible call the Apple customer care service and from they will direct Direct you what to do and they'll give you different options what you have so you know, I mean it's not a major issue because if you pick your phone from September to November then you may have this issue if you have your iPhone from like a year or some months uh, this won't be for you if I mean it's just for the last two months who all the manufacturing devices were faulty hope you guys enjoyed this video more content coming soon until then please like comment and subscribe peace